Hi everyone, it's Melissa Davis from By Mimi With Love, and it's a Wednesday night, and I'm coming to you to share a couple of things. One is a very special digital kit designed by Antonio Makes here on YouTube. Um, Antonio's channel is Antonio Makes, and he has designed this beautiful, <laughs> um, Digi kit, and um, I have the pleasure of working with it. Um, I will absolutely put all the information you need if you are interested in purchasing this kit um, in the description box below. The name of the kit is Imperial Indigo, and once again, it was created by Antonio of Antonio Makes here on YouTube. Now, guys, I don't know how many of you know Antonio, but he is, first of all, he's a gentleman. He's not a, he's not a female, which makes him extraordinary just in that, but he's so talented, guys. Such a sweetheart. Such a lovely person. You will love his channel. Go over Share some crafty love. Get to know him. You will not be sorry. This 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 guy is really talented. So let's get into his paper. Now, I'm also going to... I'm going to show you the paper. And then we're going to make a couple of embellishments. Because I wanted to join hashtag embellishment embellish with us Wednesdays which is a collab hosted by Marianne's Craft Corner and I've been wanting to do this for for such a long time I finally got the opportunity so we're going to make a couple of embellishments with this beautiful paper pack because I'm going to do a journal with this and I am going to need the embellishments so let me show you this paper Oh my goodness. I've already got a couple of uh, things stuffed in the envelope, of course. Um, now, the first thing, I made an embellishment already, and we're going to make one of these together, and I'm going to show you how I did it. But I made a clip. This paper is so beautiful guys and this is one of the hair clips so I'll show you how it did that but first let's get a look at this paper oh my goodness right it is stunning again it is called Imperial Indigo now I did uh, print it on a blue um, uh, it's printed on white on one side this was double-sided paper. It was white and blue. So, I wanted that blue on that side. But I am definitely intending to make a journal. This will more than likely be my cover. It's just stunning. But let's hurry on through this and look at the paper so we can make the embellishments. And you can see I've already cut it to size. Um, you know, remove the borders. It's ready to fold and start preparing for a journal. Isn't it just gorgeous, guys? Isn't it stunning? It is beautiful, Antonio. Great background um, paper. Oh, look at those butterflies. Can you even... He's got cut-aparts. Um, these are cut-aparts. Right, gorgeous, gorgeous. More background paper. Oh, I'm telling you guys, this is one of the prettiest kits I have seen. So in love with this, right? Gorgeous. The music paper, it's just, it's got everything you want. And you can do so much with this kit. Uh, you could you could add birds. You could add 
flowers. You, I mean, it, it can be anything you want. You can even take it to the beach, for that matter. Look at that. It's just incredible, incredible. Look at the paisley. So I am in love and just so happy to be working with this beautiful kit. Then, and, and this is, um, this was actually, um, my printer run out of ink. So this is not a good color copy, so I was going to use it. That's what I used to make the clip with. But look at the, um, ephemera that is included with the kit. Corner pockets. These are awesome with the slits in them. Circles. There's two of those. Look at these tabs. Definitely be using those. I love this. Could be a floating pocket. Look at that tag. It's just gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. Look at the foliage. Um, the petals. The star-shaped leaves. Here are the butterflies. And they are stunning. Here is a, like a peel box or half of a peel box pocket. Tabs. Look at those butterflies. More foliage. Tags. Two corner pockets. And look at these stamps down here, guys. Absolutely gorgeous. More tags. Oh, that's the same page. I, I printed two of these. <laughs> Here's some more corner pockets. Look at these little pockets. Here is the second set of tags. Now, I've already cut a heart out here. There's There was another heart. And then that's the second set of tags. I mean, this is an astounding kit with so much yummy stuff to offer. You know, I mean, so I'm very excited about getting to work with this. It is stunning. Um, I've already cut up. I'm using the, there's that little heart. But I've already cut these out. There's a postcard. Look at that bird. Postcard. I mean, they're gorgeous. Here's another postcard. I mean, oh, just love it. It's look at this one. I'm so in love. So I mean, it's gonna be so. There's so, it's so easy because there's so much to work with here. And like I said. I went ahead and made um, one embellishment for Embellishment With Us Wednesday. And it is one of the hair clips. I love the way these look on a page. They clip really nice. Um, they're a secure clip. And I added a little rose here. And I added some butterflies to that from another embellishment. But... You can really make these clips look fancy. And, of course, with this paper, I'm going fancy, right? I mean. Okay, guys. So, I've got another um, another one. It's just a little hair clip. I think I got these from either Hobby Lobby or, or Walmart. And I'm just going to guesstimate. I'm, never, I'm not even going to measure because you can't get these wrong. You can make them any size you want. Um, this one's, I'm going to make just a little shorter and maybe a little wider. So, instead of pulling out my, um, score thing, I'm just going to use this because I just needed it. Need a couple of 
score marks. And then I'm going to go over. And like I said, I'm just eyeballing it. Because you really just can't get this wrong. And then I'm going to cut this piece. And then I'm just going to fold it on those score lines. Burnish my thing. And I do like the little corners rounded. I mean, it's entirely up to you, but this paper is so royal, you know, it's imperial indigo. To me, that says, you know, it's fancy. So, I'm going to round the corners. I'm definitely going to be, well, I'll be doing, and this is uh, Ranger's Archival ink. This is one of the ink pads that I got on sale um, for almost nothing at Hobby Lobby a couple months ago. But I will be using this ink to distress with. Because I like the intense blue. Don't really have a blue this dark in my Tim Holtz collection. Okay, so like that. Let me get rid of this. And let's go ahead and get rid of this. So you could easily make another one. Um, with the, the piece I've got here left over. So we'll get that out of our way. And now you got your little trifold here. So of course you want the um, the um, piece to open like that part to be on the back and you want the part where it comes together to definitely be the back and then the front looks like that I'm liking that um, there's only one thing I want to open this up and do just a little more ink I noticed you could see the white. There we go. So. Now you can use your hot glue or whatever you want here but the hot glue tends to make it um bulky so i'm going to use my glitter glue and i'm going to put it on the bottom of the top of the clip i've got this pen in my mouth trying to talk I'm going to put it on the bottom, holding the clip open the whole time. And I'm going to put it on the top, so the top of the paper will grab it too. Then I just take my little thing, make sure it's put together. Slide it in where I want it to be. And that's a little far over. Try to center it. And see that just lifts there. And then you want to press that down well. 
and then I come in with a little glue over here for some security. Give that a second to dry. And that's how easy that is. And it makes such a pretty clip. Now, I love this little camouflage piece. And I'm going to use this. So... I love piece scraps of material on just about any project, <laughs> as you all can tell. And then I'm just going to Yeah, I like that. But I want to put I thought about putting the heart under it like this. I like that little heart, see? And that's pretty. I like to use the material because it hides the the um, clip on this side. You know, it makes it look pretty. Maybe put the heart over the material like that. Um, I think I like it more like that. Oh, Missy. So let's put the heart down first. And I just put glue in the middle because the sides of it won't, the little tips of it here won't be glued down. Right? And then our material. We go like here. And then maybe a couple of roses. Okay, so. Now I am going to use my hot glue to get my material on. So bring it over. And I'm just going to put a little hot glue on my clip and right down through there. And then I'm going to cut them kind of try to arrange it as I go. Like I said, I want to kind of hide, use the um, little piece of fabric to hide my, my clip. Oh, I'm liking that. Yes, I am. Okay, so I'm going to put some more on it and just work as I go. and bunch it up. Okay. And see how that kind of hides the the clip? So I'm going to secure it just a little bit more so it kind of stays where I want it to. Pull off my glue strings. 
And see, I just think that looks so cute. Okay. Isn't that precious? And now we can add a couple of little roses to that. And you'll see. It's starting to... I'm starting to have a thing, guys. Okay. Now let's get a couple of these little tiny roses. And these are little birdie roses. I think these were gifted to me by my sweet friend Annie. But I think we would probably do better to, because I'm going to use, I just used one on this, but I'm going to use a couple on this one. Okay, so I think it would be best to secure that with the hot glue. that now I could do it kind of the cream color just distress distress it a little bit but I think I'm going to still want the the blue roses here okay put that up so it'll stay hot and let's bring this one up over kind of there we go and then we're gonna do one more it's either one three or five for me <laughs> no even numbers do this one more Okay, come in with our glue gun again. And here's our last rose. Get that where I want it. Look at that. Look at that. That's so pretty. And then you see what it looks like. Let's turn it over so you can see the contrast. How gorgeous is the, are those guys? I just think they're beautiful. And they're easy to make. They look so pretty with the material hiding the little clip. And they look fine on the back as far as that goes. It's just a little clip. But how gorgeous is it? I just love it. Now I'm going to take this little guy. And set my flowers out of the way because I'll contaminate the whole sheet of them, of course. That's just what I do. And then I'm just going to add a little blue. To these flowers. How, how pretty is that? Just gorgeous. They're just gorgeous. I am very happy with that. So, these are the embellishments 
that I have made for Embellishment Wednesday. Hashtag Embellish With Us Wednesday. And that is a hashtag um, hosted by Mary Ann of Mary Ann's Craft Corner. Just an amazingly talented young lady here on YouTube. And I used Antonio of Antonio Bakes Digi Kit to produce my embellishments with. And believe me, we'll be sharing a lot more as I begin to put this journal together. How cute are those? I'm just loving them. So, there we go. Thanks so much, everybody, for stopping by. I hope you all enjoyed this. Please go over and check out Antonio and check out Marianne. Their information will be listed in the description box below. If you're interested in purchasing um, the DigiKit, I will have that information. And all you have to do is follow the links. Follow the link to Antonio Makes. And he has all the information you need. So, easy to find. I just love how those turned out. I think they're precious. Thank you, Antonio, for allowing me the opportunity to work with this beautiful, incredible kit. Imperial Indigo. Indigo, created by Antonio of Antonio Makes. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. And from Virginia, we'll be talking to you really soon. Bye-bye.